Hello and welcome back to another week in the shop. Of course you'll be seeing a lot of branding irons. I hope it's at least cool to see all the different designs of branding irons because that's mostly what I do these days. So it gets kind of boring to make videos of just that. So here's a fun little story for you. I started selling heavy duty branding irons, at least I call them heavy duty, and I made the little adapter out of aluminum to, to begin with. And you can see here it melted pretty good. So it was just my ignorance and I was trying to get it out really quick so I could get it to the customer. And I didn't do any testing, and I should have, and I paid the price for it. So I had to fix the mistake, resend out heavy duty branding irons, and made these new adapters out of brass instead of aluminum. Sorry this is out of frame here, I'm just cutting out a blank for a part I'm going to put in the mill. And this was over the course of a couple days, so you'll see some branding irons first and then we'll come back to this part. And now back to this round part here. It's a half inch hole through the center there and then perpendicular to that is a 5 16 18 threaded hole. And I'm not really sure what it's for. For some kind of connector on a pump maybe, like a well pump. I don't know, some farmer came to us and asked if we could do it. So the protrusion on either side of this part is an eighth of an inch and those parallels that it's sitting on is also an eighth of an inch. So I use these 30 thousandths thick shims to kind of clamp on the part because I wouldn't be able to otherwise. After I drilled the half inch hole, I put a half inch gauge pin in the side there and kind of swept it to make sure it was fairly straight. And that allowed me to drill the perpendicular hole to that. In the end, it was one operation in the lathe and two operations in the mill. It's a fairly simple part. Setting it up wasn't the easiest, I guess, but not too bad. Here's a good question for you guys. I have this lathe, the one that actually works and I use, and then I have this one that doesn't work and I don't use, but I ran power to it in hopes to get it running. I just don't know what to do with it. I already sold the part conveyor and the chip conveyor out of this, and I basically bought it for scrap price, I would imagine. And I'm just not sure what I should do about it. Should I get it running and sell it or get it running to use it? I just don't really have a need for it right now. I can get it running and then s potentially sell it. But I'm just not really sure at the moment what I should do with it. I could always sell it and get a new machine and put the new machine there. But I have enough power to run many different machines. But let me know what you guys think. And I think that's it for now. So thanks for watching.